Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Uh, this is your weekly Wednesday devotional, and it blows my mind to think that we walked through the book of Psalms. I don't know if you remember when we started all this together, but it was three times a week we were doing these. Uh, we ended up walking through the book of Proverbs. We eventually went down to Tuesdays, Thursdays. Now we're on Wednesdays, and we're going to walk through the book of James. The book of James is what I call the New Testament book of wisdom. It's kind of the Proverbs of the New Testament. Very down to earth, very practical, God's wisdom for daily living. So we're going to begin walking through it, and we're starting in James chapter 1, verse 1. And I call this, this, this little reflection that we are scattered servants. If you're a Christian, you are a scattered servant. Listen to God's word. James 1.1. 1, 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations. Greetings. That's the first verse. Well, a couple of observations I think that are important for people who follow Jesus to make. Number one is to know who you are. Know your identity. If you're a Christian, you're a child of God. You are beloved by God. He watches over you. You're a sheep. He's the shepherd. But there's a word here uh, that, that, is, that, that James uses, the Apostle Paul also uses in the letters he writes. Uh, the word is doulos. It's a, it's a Greek word that means bond slave or servant. And leaders in the early church, the highest level leaders, would say, I am a servant, a bond servant of Jesus Christ. Some people would translate that word slave. And I don't think it's a bad word. The point is simply this. We belong to Jesus. We're all going to serve somebody. Who is it going to be? Well, followers of Jesus, it's obvious. The Christ, the Messiah. He is, he is our leader. He is our master. We follow him. So, so know who you are. Say of yourself, I can say, Kevin Garth Harney, a bond servant of Jesus Christ. You say your name and say, I am a servant of Jesus Christ. I will go where he wants me to go. I will do what he calls me to do. I will love who he wants me to love. I'll forgive the people he calls me to forgive. I will follow Jesus. That's what it means to be a servant. And then know where you are. Know who you are, a servant of Jesus. Know where you are. And here in the passage, it says, to the 12 tribes scattered to the nations. He's writing to people that are scattered all over the known world. And I'm going to say to you, that's still who we are. We are God's scattered people. Yes, we gather with God's people on, on, on the weekends for worship, whether it's online or outdoors in the courtyard or indoors, but we gather with God's people to worship. We're together. We need that time, but then we scatter. And here's what I want to say to you. Wherever God scatters you this week, in your home, in your neighborhood, in the workplace if you're working out of the home, in the stores where you shop, in the place where you get gas for the car, where you go for recreation, wherever you go, you are God's scattered servant. So when you go to the place that God calls you to go, when you go where he scatters you, go as his servant. And look around and say, who would Jesus notice? Who would he serve? Who would he care for? I'm his servant. I'm going to serve like Jesus. I want to pray for you that you would be God's scattered servant in this coming week. Lord Jesus, thank you that as we walk into the rest of this week and into the following week, we can go with an identity. We are your servants, loved by you, served by you, and now we give ourselves back in a life of service, and we go scattered. Lord, wherever you send us, help us notice, love, and serve in the name, your name, Jesus, that great name. Use us for your glory, we pray in your glorious name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you at Shoreline, if you are a Shoreline person, on Sunday online, in the courtyard, in the worship center, wherever you're feeling comfortable. We're the body of Christ. We'll see you together on Sunday.